to believe her more than anything. Yeah, but you don't. I know, but first she gets into trouble with Mary, now this. It's just, it's all getting out of hand. She says she's got nothing to do with what happened to Simon. She swore to me, it's just... I've just got a really bad feeling about the whole thing. Listen, I've had a bad feeling about Grace ever since she set foot in this house. I'm telling you, that girl is poison. So what do I do, then? Go upstairs and start calling her a liar? No, but we've got to sort this. Well, then, will you speak to her? Because I'm just banging my head against a wall. She just clams up with me. Yeah. Of course I will. Well, come on, son. You've got chocolate cereal on a weekday. I'm not hungry. Should I make some toast? You can't go to school on an empty stomach, Si. I'm not going to school. This has really knocked him for six, this. I mean, he's not himself at all, love. I know. I know it's heartbreaking. <sighs> I'm sorry, I've really, really got to take this. Hiya, Charmaine. No, I'm on my way, love. I am. Yeah, all right. In a bit. Lied. Who's it? Something about the wedding. I just wonder whether I could ask you about the flowers. Don't matter. It's okay. We'll talk about it later, along with everything else on the list. You know what? I could throttle them. I still feel like I should go around there. I know. I'm sorry. I've got to. I've got to go and meet the florist in half an hour. And why don't you just take your time, okay, and see if you can get through to him? I've got to get him to school. I'm not going. Take as long as you need, all right? But don't forget, Ian Crossley is coming. You won't forget, will you? No. Okay. Love you. Now listen, son. Sometimes in life we want to hide away, but we can't. You've got to put this out your head and rise above it. Be strong. Can you do that? Sorry. Can you do that for me. <sighs> Every time I get into a groove, you disturb me. I'm sorry, I can't not say anything. What, is my stitching monkey? That's perfect, but you've been at this machine since seven o'clock. I enjoy it. Today is your first session of chemotherapy. Shouldn't you be taking it easy? Oh, sit around thinking about it, hoping it'll make a difference, worrying how I'll feel if it doesn't. No, thank you. Besides, I might not feel up to this after chemo, so I'd like to at least get this section done. Well, when Anna comes, we need to finalise arrangements. This hem's a beggar. It needs my full attention. She's happy to take the reins whenever we want. Now, I've booked a taxi for one thirty, which a line for traffic will get us there in plenty of time. And I've agreed to help serve till then, unless you need me. Peace and quiet is what I need. One last thing. Go! You've planned every last detail. There can't be anything else. Go on. Dr Ganatra thought you would be done and dusted within a few hours, so I'll book a taxi back, say, six o'clock. Sounds great. You may go. Yeah. Carry on. I shan't disturb you again. Look, they're high school girls. I doubt anybody at your school even knows about this. What if they were to have some at school and follow me? Oh, love, they won't. Not now, because they're bullies, you know, and all bullies are cowards. They're gonna leave you well alone, I promise. All right, come on, let's get your shoes and wrap no. Come on. No. Look, you can't let these people get you down. And I have to go to work. I have to go. Please, can you ask Tina to look after me? <sighs> I like Tina, she's funny. Please, Dad, just let me stop off for one day. <sighs> OK. I'll call Tina, and if... And if She's free. You can have the morning off. Oi! I hope your Faye realises how upset Simon is. Faye says she had nothing to do with it. Hiya! Hi. 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 Right, I've got to be quick. Listen, Tyrone serviced Stella's car the other day. She gave him some leaflets for the bistro. Mm. Two courses for nine quid if you eat before seven, Monday to Thursday. Do you fancy it? 
sounds romantic. Oh, shut up. No, Tyrone's not really fussed about restaurant food, so I'll cook him something nice for his tea. He can do bedtime, and me and you can have a girly night. Fizz, I'm OK. Come on, I'm not. I need the night off. Yes, yes, OK, yes. then, yeah. What time shall we meet? Um... One minute, one minute. Peter. Hello? What are you doing? Checking my text. Faye, you're not even looking at me. Put the thing away and answer me. Were you involved in bullying Simon Barlow? This is very serious, Faye. We need to know the truth. I've told you everything. <sighs> All right, Owen. I don't have questions. We're not at the police station. Yet. They do get involved in bullying. You know this, don't you? You ask Izzy. Can I go now? But well, you've not had your breakfast. I'm not hungry. Please, can I go? OK, let her go, Owen. OK, but Grace is banned from this house. Do you hear me? Have a nice day at school. I think we were too hard on her. Well, she didn't exactly crack under the strain, did she? I mean, she's got her story and she's sticking to it. I know, well, maybe she is. Telling the truth. No, 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 there's more to this than she's letting on. I know it. Sorry, it's short notice. I just didn't know what to do. Oh, it's all right. I won't do anything. Where is he, anyway? It's in his bedroom. Uh, get your coffee. Uh, no, it's all right. I'll make it. You get off. All right. Hey, do you know what? No, I'm all right for five minutes. No, really, thanks for coming to you. It's OK. You beat me at Scrabble the other day, thanks to some very jammy triple point words. <laughs> I want revenge. It's a good idea, then. Mm. Keep his mind off things. I just can't seem to get through to him, Tina. I mean, I've tried. I reckon he's worried that people think he's some kind of sissy, you know, being bullied by a couple of girls. So what do you think? No, no. Well, you know, the tough kids at my school were all girls. I was one of them. Oh, she's a little hard not with you. Mm, still am. <laughs> you think I'm doing the right thing, letting him stay off school? Yeah, yeah. Right. Have you rang them? No, because I'm going to go see Anna Windass well, first. I thought you'd no, decide... it's, it's all right, honestly. I, I'm not going to do anything daft. You know, but seeing how traumatised he is, you know she's not even been round here to apologise to me. For all I know, Faye's not even being punished. Mm. I'm not having it, Tina. I can't. Yeah. All uh, right, see you later. Uh, where are you off to? I'm going upstairs to do my own work. Words I thought I'd never hear from your lips. I've got to go and see Andrea later. She's uh, got some books for me and some old essays. I'm going to have to put the hours in if I'm going to get through this course. Oh, you're certainly doing that. Well, you do know that the auditor's coming to look at the books. Well, yeah, don't worry, everything's in order. I should be back, so... Peter! How's Simon? He's devastated. I had to keep him off school. Oh, over a bit of makeup. OK, OK, it was really bad what they did. But Amy is just as upset as Simon. What were you thinking, giving kids the keys to an empty house and letting them run riot, Tracy? Oh, not you and all. Look, if you want to have a go at someone, oh, go and see Anna. Don't you worry. I'm on my way. Hi, mate. Listen, I know you're only a part-time dad, but if you've got any control at all over that delinquent daughter of yours, you you'll keep her away from Simon, right? I mean it. If Faye... Or any of her nasty little friends go anywhere near my son again. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Faye's been bullying Simon. You're joking. Oh, why would I joke about something like that? Do you have any desecrated coconut? Uh, desiccated. <laughs> it's mother's idea of a joke. <laughs> Do you have any? I'm having the twins after school, and I always like to plan an activity, and I thought today we could do a tray bake. Have you tried, Dev? Oh, first put of call, obviously. I can't help you, I'm sorry. Well, are you sure you've got none lurking in the back of a cupboard upstairs? Uh, no, uh, you'll have to decorate your case with something else. Well, can I just go and have a quick rummage? Uh, Hayley doesn't wish to be disturbed. It's the first session of chemotherapy today. Working on Carla's dress now. I see. What are Faye and her nasty friends doing to Simon Barlow? Who's calling them that? Me. And don't try and deny it. My lad's so upset he's off school today, and it's your daughter's fault. Well, she said she didn't do it. Oh, what, are you a complete mug? Of course she's gonna say that. But look, we've had a long talk with her. Owen's had a talk with her. She knows it's a serious matter. She swears she didn't do it. Oh, so what Simon done is he smeared makeup all over his own face. Is that what happened? Yeah. It was a horrible, nasty, vicious attack. See, does that sound like something your daughter would be involved in? No, she's normally a good kid. Why didn't you tell me any of this? Because I haven't had a chance, that's why. And anyway, who's to say that Simon's not telling lies? Do you know what? You're coming here and making accusations. Could you just try and keep your voices down? Sorry, Ryan. 
You know, where's your proof that they did it? It's, it's his word against hers. <sighs> Look, if she's done what you're saying, she has, we'll sort it, all right? Yeah, you better add. Oh, yeah, yeah, OK, I'll be there as quick as I can. Thanks. Um, it's a school. Faye's been involved in a fight. We need me to go down there straight away. In a fight? Faye? Well, she's such a good kid. Yes, you go. Get please. I'm so sorry, Rai. I'll come with you. Come on. Anna Windas. Ah, that's where you've been. Yes. Oh, uh, my machine's on the bank. Yeah, OK, I'll, I'll, I'll see to it in a minute. I mean, I had to go and say something to her, but complete waste of time, though. I mean, you can't say anything about her precious daughter. Little thug in the making, and she sticks up for her, and he's just as bad. Tim, Tim Dim. Ian Crossley has been and gone, by the way. Oh, OK. Yeah. I mean, I like to think I'm good at my job, but even I can't be in two places at once. So he blown us out, has he? No, no. Sean rang me while I was at the florist and he kept him talking while I slapped my jetpack on my back and flew back here. Right, well, that's good. Good. He came all the way from Hull, Peter. It doesn't exactly inspire confidence, does it? Look, I know you're worried about Simon, OK? I'm worried about Simon, but we do have a factory to run here, you know, and we are getting married next week. I can't do everything on my own. I know. You know, a time like this, Simon's got to be my priority. Simple as that. I do care about him and all, you know. Only I have got other things to deal with as well. You're going to be so sorry. I love this bone. I had to stop you from showing it to everyone. I'll pay for it to be mended. No, oh, you can buy me a new one. I'm due an upgrade. An iPhone or a Samsung. OK, whatever. She made it always. She knew that. What all Miss Lyons do? We need to get our story straight before we go in. Well, maybe we should just tell her everything. Are you sick? We'll get excluded. Listen to me, Faye. We'll tell her we were messing about and the phone broke, OK? End of. I mean it, Faye. If you blab about any of the other stuff, I will never speak to you again. No one will speak to you again. I took pity on you because you're so uncool. I knew you'd be in care. If you let me down, I'm done with you. What's going on? I found this thing online about bullying. Oh, can we just play? OK, we'll play and talk at the same time, yeah? Hang out with friends. Don't get mad, get funny. Then you show them you're not scared. So if a year seven loss is sitting on me, smearing makeup all over my face, I meant to tell a joke, am I? Hmm. Probably watching it, having a good joke. Watching what? Sam? The video it. Oh, Simon. On a phone. <sighs> well, how can you not told us sooner, eh? I probably watched it over and over, having a good laugh. Have you seen this? He's not still using that old thing. What, you mean hieroglyphics? I mean, is that a percentage or a smiley face? I thought he'd put all the accounts on the computer. Nope, he's still writing them down. Although you'd need a Second World War code cracker to make sense of this. Must be buying Tipex by the gallon. And these invoices, I can't make Edna tail of. The auditor's going to be here in a minute. And where is Steve? Nowhere to be seen. Right, we're just going to have to wade through it. I'll help. Oh, thanks, Liz. Yeah, OK, then. All right, bye-bye. I'm sorry, that woman's just really not doing it for me at all. Who? Charmaine, the florist. I mean, she reckons she's done weddings right up to 500 people, but she's just suggested carnations to me. I mean, as if I'm going to have carnations at our wedding. Right. I could just sack her. And if I sack her, I might not be able to find anybody else. 
You're really not interested in this at all, are you? Yeah, I am. You know, Anna Windus is, is, is more or less saying that Simon's a liar. But I know my son. I know he's not a liar. Yes? I've done it again, Anna. It's just me machine. It's really snagging. All right. Come and have a look. I'm going to go and see Hayley, see how my dress is getting on. Just a second. Who, me? The florist. Oh, really? You reckon? Inside. Come on. What are you not doing here? Faye's been suspended. She's got into a fight with Grace and smashed up her phone. I thought you and her were good friends. Right, Faye, we want the truth this time. We were just messing about. Oh. Roy is meant to be taking Haley for her first chemotherapy today. They need me there to be working, but I said I've had to drop everything and get to school because of you. They've suspended her. I've never felt so ashamed. Why would you smash your mate's phone? Yeah, and why were you fighting with Grace, love? Oh, I... I don't know what to do with her. Well, you get back to work, I'll talk to her. You don't mind me clocking off early, do you? Right, this does not mean that you're off the up, young lady. Far from it. I'll see you later. I wish Anna would hurry up. Mm -hmm. They can't start without me. Yeah, well, we'll just keep them waiting. Boy, there's no guarantee the chemotherapy will make a difference. There is every chance the chemotherapy will significantly prolong your life. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. I just came to see how the dress was coming along. Oh, no. Well, we do have far more pressing concerns at the moment. Right, oh. shush. Ignore me, husband. Sorry, I, I just came to see whether it was on schedule, that's all. Uh... It's Hayley's first session of chemotherapy this afternoon. <sighs> it should be if Anna ever arrives. I feel awful now. Well, don't. The dress is doing great. I'm loving doing it. Do you want a sneak preview? Mm. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, I'm, oh, so, I'm sorry. sorry. Hayley, we must go now. Yeah, yeah come on, do as you're told. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. I'll come back over time. Uh, Hayley needs to rest. I, I have to put my foot down. Oh, because, well. <laughs> come in. Where have you been all day? Studying. Andrew's been helping me with my homework. Got chatting, lost track of time. She's dead funny. Does this amazing impression of Mr Hedges, the tutor. Just the two of you, was it? Well, we were at it all day. Uh, studying, uh, I mean. On the uh, way back, Lloyd rang me because he needed a driver urgently. I had to go in. Oh, right, yeah. <clears throat> well, the auditor came. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. Oh, no, don't worry, Steve. Me and your mum sorted it. And uh, despite these smiley faces, the books are in a complete mess. Are they? Steve, you've dropped us right in it. And what's she like anyway, this Andrea? She's nice. I, well, you know, she's no oil painting. Unless the oil painting was called Plain Girl. Right. Whereas if you were an oil painting, it would be called Eternal Beauty. <laughs> and you'd be called Shifty. Or Shifty with thinning hair. I'm doing all this studying to better myself. Well, there's certainly scope for improvement. And for Amy. For Amy's future. Look, Simon, right? There's been times in my life where I felt scared. I do want to go out and face people. But honestly, the longer you stay indoors, the harder it is to come in. I promise. Look, there's Asher and Adesh. Should we say hi? Come on. Hi. Hi. Hiya. Hello. See? That wasn't that bad, was it? Where's your dress, Simone? Ignore them. They know. If they know, everybody knows. Look, they'll be interested for, like, a day and then they'll pick on someone else. Why did you say that to Simon? Faye Windows put a dress on him and calling him makeup. Faye? Why? Everybody at school's talking about it. There's even a video. What do you mean, video? What are you talking about? I found it on the phone. Shh, don't tell her. It's all around school. Maggie Loss sent it to me. She got it sent to by a cousin at Weather High. Sent what? What are you talking about? Phone, Asha. Do you want to go on a screen van? Thank you. How do I work this? Stop it! It's still! It's not fighting it! Oh. Tina! Tina! There's something on Asha's phone I think you ought to see. I just want you to know that whatever you tell me stays in this room. We hate it when you do this. What? Acting like you're on my side. 
You don't know how I feel. Listen, when I was your age, I was always getting in trouble. Yeah? So I know how easy it is to get mixed up with bad people. And I know that sometimes it... It feels exciting to get in trouble. I really like her. And I thought she liked me. Never had a proper friend before. Yeah, and it's good to have friends. But if someone knows you like them and they use it to get you to do things, then it's bad news. Oi. Real friends don't get you in trouble. I know, come on, listen, listen, I'm sorry, Simon, but we need to tell your dad about this, right? Tell me about what? <sighs> we only knew half the story. What? The video did. Who? The attack. Twisted. What are you talking about? Stop it! He's still! He's still! Stop fighting it! What's <sighs> your second bell? Oh, I love olives. I can't stand them, mate. We've got loads of them. I don't know why they order so many. I'm going to be having a girls' night with blooming Tina No Show. My first night out in ages and she's working. Uh, yeah, well, i got to look keen if I want to keep this job. Do you want to order now? Have you had enough? No, I don't think I'll bother. I'm going to give up on her. Just have one more. Yeah. Uh, oh, terrible. <laughs> See you, girls. Yeah. See ya. Anna. All right, Peter, calm down. Good kid, is she? Simon's word against hers. What's happened now? Oh, don't take my word for it. Here's your proof. Have a look at that. Coronation Street returns in half an hour.